Hey family, peace and love to my kings and my queens, my brothers and sisters. I thank you for checking back with your sister for another video. Um, you remember family when I tell you that um, part of my experiences that I've been having uh, since my third eye has been awakened and having a spiritual awakening, um, one of the things that I have uh, been gifted to see not only energy in the sky, okay, family, but also uh, I mentioned that I have been seeing what looks like glitches, okay? And I just give the most high the honor and the glory. So grateful to see it because it's one thing to know that, you know, we're living in a matrix. That's one thing, all right? But it's another thing to see it, all right? Um, just, you know, uh, being someone that normally looks up in the sky and you know, the sky looks blue, or it can be cloudy, or it can be a clear, you know, uh, blue, um, clear day, you know, um, still one who is, that's, um, not been able to see, really, they have eyes to see, but they don't see, one who, I uh, really don't have eyes to really see, don't, don't uh, they're not aware of these glitches, shall I say. They are not aware of these glitches in the sky, and there are many of them. Now, let me get to the point real quick, family. I have also been seeing, and I mentioned it before in my past videos, I'm going to mention it again. I apologize, family. I got distracted by my little queen uh, coming in and asking me a question. But anyway, I had noticed... Um, the other day I was outside, okay, and I've seen this phenomenon before, but I want to mention it again, all right? I was outside um, yesterday. It was a, a nice, clear, blue day and a couple of clouds, you know, in the sky, but I was, I just happened to be looking in the direction of, I would say, um, southwest, sort of like in the southwest, outside in the balcony, and I don't know why I happened to look that direction. I, for some reason, I'm always drawn to that particular direction. And I was just looking up, and all of a sudden, I started seeing lines in the sky. S sort of like shadowy looking lines. Um, just dark, because the sky was just, it was just a clear blue, uh, baby blue looking sky in the background. But I started noticing lines appear in the sky. All right, this is what had caught my attention. And the more I looked at it, I started seeing more lines that was connected to each other, sort of like a chain, sort of sort of like a link looking. Um, sort of remind you of this right here, okay, family? I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm not the best artist, so bear with your sister. Um, now, let me say this. Some people are noticing lines like this, all right? They're noticing weird lines like this in the sky. And we're not talking about um, chemtrails family, all right? We're talking about these hidden um, signs, which uh, lines that be in the sky that many people are considered as uh, these, uh, the grid lines, shall I say, okay? So that's pretty much what I'm talking about. But the this 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 is what I was seeing, the shape in the sky. This is what I was seeing, okay? I will see. Hold on. I was seeing something like this. And if you can imagine a metal fence, all right, a metal fence, if you can imagine a metal fence, you would get an idea of, of how the fence look, how they look like links, okay? How the fence look like links, but, they're, but they are connected together. This is what I was seeing in the sky. Yeah, I'm getting ready to stop. Just trying to give you a little idea of what your sister was seeing. Okay. Because I've done a video before talking about this. And many people have told me they've seen this phenomenon themselves. Now, my drawing is not the best. But I'm still trying to give you an idea of what I was seeing. Let me see. Hold on, I'm really getting sloppy now. Let me do one more. 
I apologize how it's looking because I really wanted everything to link up. Hold on. This should have been connected to this. Let me try one more. These two are pretty much is the best example I can give you. But if you look at this right here, and if you can imagine it looking like this, this whole page filled with this symbol, all right? Looking just like this, and everything is linked together. If you can pretty much picture this family, this is what I was seeing in the sky. Looking just like this, just going across, all right? Now, let me say this real quick. I've also seen this image before within my home on the wall. You know, I could just be staring at the wall and I would see this right here. Now, let me say this, let me say this real quick, because I do communicate with my higher self. And let me just say, I don't know everything, but I do know what I know, all right? If I don't ask the questions, I would not get an answer, okay? Uh, that's how it works with me, all right? As far as me communicating with my higher self. But these grid lines family are all over, all right? They are all over the world, okay? And um, I really want these two to connect, but I'm not going to really worry about it. I'm going to leave that alone. Let's just focus on this over here, okay, family? Anyway, if you just look at it from this all the way over, let's just focus on, on this over here. These grid lines are, are, are all over the world, okay, family? It's pretty much like a, a, a shield um, we all that we all know as the matrix, okay? Now, my, my understanding of it, there are zero points that are within the grid line, okay? There are zero points that are located on these grid lines. Just just follow with me now. Follow with me. There are, there are zero points in certain areas of these grid lines, okay? This is what I'm calling them, zero points. Now, with, the, with these zero points at family, these are pretty much like portals, okay? These are pretty much portals. And even though it's like a, even though it's considered as a protective barrel, a shield, uh, this is pretty much what it's designed to keep certain things out and to keep certain things in. All right, let me just say that this right here was never meant for us to see. This was never meant for us to see. Once I started seeing this right here. First, I started seeing it within my home on the wall. I didn't know what it was, okay? And I started to, um, once I started seeing it on my wall, it's like I, all of a sudden I started seeing it everywhere. And this was like during my awakening experience. Like I was seeing all kinds of sacred geometrical shapes. And I started seeing this right here, you know? Now, not, now, not these dots right here. Not these dots, okay? But just, just the shape, period. Just this shape, period. I started seeing it everywhere. And I know on the commercial, the commercials, when they when they was advertising certain things, uh they would ever I mean they had um they were using like they was also using the symbol as well. And I'm like, you know what, it's something to this. You know, cause all of a sudden I'm seeing the symbol and you wasn't nobody talking about it. Even when they have these so called award shows, you know, you would see these so called, you know, um symbols. All right. We see the so called symbols. Hydro, 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 whatever you call them. But you would see these so-called symbols that have like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. It has, you know what, I think I did this wrong, family. Let me see, I remember it was, let me see, it was one, two, three. Four, five. I think it was something like this. I think it was something like this. Because this right here has six points to it. Well, actually, has more than six. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. This has six points to it. But I think I think what I was seeing had it was looking sort of like this. But you get what I'm going. I was basically seeing a link of, you know, of these lines linked together. Like I say, remind you of a fence outside, okay? And it was a link of them connected together, all right? So it was either looking like this family or like this. It, it was something similar to it. But anyway, let me get to the point. I got lost my train of thought and I apologize. Um, but um, when I was seeing 
once I start seeing this right here on the wall, it, it, it's like I see it and then a fade out. Just like how I would see like certain dimensional beings that would pop up on my wall. Alright, family, I had to do a quick part to my camera cut off. I apologize. But just like um, I be seeing like dimensional beings that pop up on my wall, um, I was also seeing what looks like this on my wall that would pop up without these little dots right here. But getting back to these dots, these dots are pretty much, I call them like zero points. These zero points are like portals, all right? And these are the, the portals that these extraterrestrials be using that uh, are coming into our our realm. You know, they'll pop up. And I was wondering, uh, a lot of times I would see them popping up in certain location. And that way, I think on my deck towards southwest, I would definitely see them, especially with the sun starting to set. I started seeing the sun start to set more in the southwest and then eventually it's in the west. But while it's in the southwest, I would see a lot of light shifts popping up, you know, from the sunlight. And um, I wouldn't see this right here, but the fact that I saw this right here, I know I know for I know for a fact that there's a zero point that's somewhere in the area where those light shifts are popping up at. A lot of the light shifts are popping in and out of these um, so-called zero points, all right? because uh, this is really designed to keep something out as well as keeping something in shall I say um, think about our Pentagon family think about our Pentagon think about it what is the shape of our Pentagon exactly exactly look at the shape of our Pentagon and you get an idea of where I'm coming from our Pentagon that's pretty much designed for what national defense all right, secrecy. Uh, you think about the Pentagon, you think about them trying to protect what? The people of the earth, okay? The uh, earth citizens, shall I say. Uh, it's, it's designed for uh, national security, shall I say. The same shape of the Pentagon is the same thing like this. It, only different is Alright family, I don't know what it is. I'm having issues out of my camera. It keeps shutting off. I guess the power that be don't want this information now, but it's all good. For those who have eyes to see, you're going to see. Alright? Just like many of you have ears to hear, you're going to hear. Okay? Um, many of us are coming to our gifts, and everybody's gifts are different, but we are wonderfully made, shall I say. And um, you're going to start seeing the unseen, okay? The veil is definitely thinning, and you're definitely going to start uh, seeing that which is hidden, okay? And one of the things that is hidden is the so-called grid, all right? Like I said, this grid is all over the world, okay? And it is part of the matrix system, let me just say that. Now, this one right here is, is more similar to what I've been seeing, shall I say? Um, when I see When I see it, it looks more like this, but I don't see these dots. But these dots are just what I consider it as zero points to where, like I said, a lot of the, you know, uh, ETs, you know, they're from other dimensions or whatever, when they're coming into this realm, a lot of them, uh, and, and these zero points are from all over the world, all right? They're not as close as to where I have, I have this right here. I'm just, trying to, I'm just trying to give you an example of um, how they are located in certain points of the grid, okay? Um, but for the most part, this link, this so-called link is all over the world, all right? I received confirmation about that. This link is all over the world, and it's not really designed to hurt us. It's just part of the matrix system, okay, family? Let's keep that in mind, because many of you are seeing these lines in the sky. A lot of people call them spider. What do they call it? Spider way up, shall I say, in the sky, but they're starting to see it. Um, but getting back to the Pentagon, which we know that in 9-11, in it was hit, not with a plane, but with a missile, all right? That's part of the cover-up. But uh, the Pentagon is shaped like this as well, all right? <clears throat> sort of more like what? Mm. I know I'm not, I'm not the best designer, but many of you know what I'm talking about with the points. Uh, with the odd shape the Pentagon has, it's shaped like this. And please know, before they even built that building, um, they knew, they had an idea of why they had that building. Um, shaped the way it is shaped, all right? It's for a reason. Like I said, due to national defense, and also this right here is surrounding our earth. They know about this too, right? They know about these grids that, that are over 
all over the world, all right? As well as I'm sure they know about these so-called um, certain points within the grid to where, you know, uh, beings uh, can enter in and, out, in and out of our realm, all right? These um, high, highly advanced ETs, okay? Because uh, I was told by my higher self um, that there's definitely a portal over here where I am and definitely a zero point. Uh, that's why I see so many ETs over here. Um, well, not so many ETs, but so many um, light ships, shall I say. Because before I moved here, family, I would not lie to you, I wasn't seeing no light ships. Were these grids around? Yes, they were around. But at the time, I wasn't even seeing these grids either. And I definitely seen no light ship at the time. That's because I was, I was not near one of these zero points. I hope this makes sense to many of you. Uh, have you ever noticed you ever lived somewhere and you wasn't seeing anything in the sky, nothing abnormal? And then when you move, all of a sudden you have all these paranormal experiences due to seeing a lot of portals open within your home, your room, or outside. You know, you've seen a whole lot of phenomena going on outside um, as far as looking up. That's, that's, that's what it is. You're living near one of these zero points, all right? And whether you live in a zero point or not, these grids are around the world, period, all right? And here's one diagram of what I'm talking about. And like I said, look at the Pentagon. So, can't make this stuff up, family. Like I said, something that is within us is trying to reveal the truth. The truth is within all of us. It's just a matter of us going within ourselves, meditating, but the answers are there, all right? The kingdom is within us, all right? Source is within us. You don't have to look outside of yourself. All you have to do is go within yourself and get your answers. I love you in Christ. I thank you for checking your sister out. And please keep looking up, family, and be safe, all right? That Hurricane Florence is on the way. I live in North Carolina, but I'm not worrying about it. <clears throat> I'm prayed up and I'm covered, all right? I'm not worrying about that because we all know that's man-made in a way with this harp system. You know, they're always trying to point these monsters, um, warfare, um, weather, uh, towards whatever direction they want to point it. But I'm not worrying about it because I'm covered and many of you are covered. Remember the tornado alley. Rem family remember how 20s go down the alley it skips one and then it bypasses two and three and then it, it damaged three or four and then it skips another well it's the same way with this right here you know i suggest many of you stay prayed up and surround yourself with light and uh, you're gonna be just fine so um pray for me i'll be praying for many of you and thank you for watching and much love bye for now